Guys, I am always getting asked questions about books. Uh, I'm a big reader myself. I wouldn't consider myself a prolific reader. I just commit to reading a minimum of 50 pages of a self-development or a non-fiction book each and every week. And because of that, I end up reading effectively a book a month, 10 to 12 books a year. Uh, and, and I'm consistently consuming a lot of this self-development, uh, a lot of this non-fiction based content. And I guess because I share so much of it on on my personal Instagram and Facebook, uh, at Joseph Menzel, if you don't follow me, uh, I get a lot of questions. I get a lot of story replies. I get a lot of people asking, what book does that come from? What book would you recommend for this? Uh, I'm in this situation. What is your top three books to help me out? What's your top five books for personal development? These sorts of questions I, I consistently and frequently get. So I wanted to shoot this video and go through this is not an extensive list by any stretch of the imagination, but my top five books for helping you level up in different areas of your life. So I've picked my number one finance book. I've picked my number one book for helping you level up your mindset. I've picked my number one book for helping you develop uh, habits that are going to help you level up in different areas of your life. And I'm going to show you these books one by one, explain to you what I personally took from them, what's inside and why I recommend these top five books to help you level up in all areas of your life. So this book is an exceptional read for any of you who are in a leadership position. Perhaps you're a manager in the business that you work for. Perhaps you're a business owner yourself. The book is called Dare to Lead by Brene Brown. I really took a lot out of this book when it comes to the emotional ingredients required to be a really good servant leader. Brene Brown, for those of you who are unfamiliar, she's a psychologist. Uh, she's written a whole bunch of books. A lot of them are on emotional intelligence. Uh, she's actually a shame researcher, so she dives deep into vulnerabilities and, and uh, people's different emotional responses to them. And I think in my business experience, one of the most important elements when it comes to leading is dealing with people, is managing people, is understanding that different people are going to respond differently to different situations. There is not a, a blanket rule approach to managing people. Everybody's slightly different. And I think this book provides so much practical advice on how to approach different situations, how to approach different situations with different people, how to approach the same situation with different people. And there's a lot of tools in here that are going to help you become a much better emotionally agile servant leader. This book is an absolute must read for pretty much everyone and a super timely read at uh, right now because of everything that's happening in the world. The book is called Courage is Calling. It's a stoic based book by Ryan Holiday. For those of you who don't know Ryan Holiday, he is arguably the worldwide authority on stoicism. He's written a bunch of books uh, based in stoic philosophy. He runs uh, The Daily Stoic, which is probably the, the world's uh, most renowned uh, source of information for Stoic philosophy. And this is his uh, newest book. So I actually read this in 2021. And it's about one of the four virtues of Stoicism. And that of course is, is courage. I really enjoyed this book because I think that a lot of uh, what's happening in the world at the moment is exposing lack of courage in a lot of us, myself included. And as I was reading through this book, so many things resonated with me where it was like, man, I, you know, I, I should have approached that situation differently. If I find myself in this situation again, I'm going to approach it with far more courage and far more bravery. And I think Ryan does an exceptional job in all of his books, and this book is no exception, of drawing upon Stoic philosophy, backing it up with real world examples, some historic, some current, and really kind of showing how the different principles of Stoic philosophy apply to the lives that we're living today. So Courage is Calling, an absolute must read for everyone. If you're serious about leveling up in any area of your life, perhaps your health and fitness, perhaps your business, perhaps your career, perhaps your family, whatever it is, this book, is an absolute gem of information. High Performance Habits by Brendan Burchard, or Brendan Burchard, depending on how you want to pronounce his last name. 
It's no secret that I am a massive advocate for small changes in daily habits and routines that lead to massive results. I produce so much content on it, podcasts, videos, uh, written pieces. Uh, it's kind of peppered throughout my, my, uh, all of my content. I took so much out of this book, guys. Brendan Burkhard is an incredible author and the way that he backs up his theories with real world examples and then intertwines that with practical advice that you can implement pretty much after each and every chapter that you can take, you can read, you can take, you can go and implement straight away and kind of see how these small changes in your daily habits and your routines can really start shifting the needle of your life and helping you level up in all different areas of your life. A super practical read, High Performance Habits, Brendan Burkhard. So this book was first given to me by my parents when I was, I'm gonna say 18 or 19 years old. They'll probably say I was much younger, but I don't think I was really too interested in reading books at, uh, at a younger age. I was a teenager nonetheless, in my late teens. Uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Flat out, this book should be taught in schools. Primary school uh, is probably where this book should, should start. The principles in this book should start being taught. This is arguably uh, the best book ever written uh, on the fundamentals of personal finances. It's a, it's a finance-based book and really kind of spells out the, the basic differences between things like assets and liabilities, uh, explains why being in the market, time in the market is so much more important than trying to time the market, uh, generating passive income, compounding interest, you know, all of these real basic principles about finances that you need to know in order to, to really start building wealth, in order to put yourself in a position where you can start building personal financial wealth, which is why I say it should be taught in primary schools because one of the, uh, the, the key takeaways from this book is that the earlier you start, the better. The good news is it's never too late to start and if you're serious about leveling up your personal finances, this book is an absolute must read. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. There's not too many books that I can honestly say have changed the direction of my life. This is one of them. Mindset by Dr. Carol Dweck. I first read this book in 2017 and it had such a profound effect on my personal mindset, excuse the play on words, it really kind of opened my, my thoughts and my mind to possibilities that up until that point I'd, I'd never really consciously considered. For those of you who have never heard of Carol Dweck, she is the, uh, the, the doctor, she's a PhD, who is arguably responsible for popularizing the difference between fixed mindset and growth mindset. And that's exactly what this book is about. This book through real world examples that back up her theory and her study show how a fixed mindset plays out over an entire lifetime, how a growth mindset plays out over an entire lifetime, and how you can move from having a predominantly fixed mindset towards having a much more growth mindset, which is an absolute fundamental bedrock of helping you level up in all areas of your life. This book is an absolute must read for everybody. Mindset, Dr. Carol Dweck. And that's a wrap. That's my top five books from different areas of your life that are gonna help you level up in those different areas of your life. And obviously a bunch of them kind of overlap and, and uh, run into each other there as well. Guys, any questions at all, feel free to drop them as a comment down below on this YouTube video. If you wanna know, you know, a little bit more detail about what I took from each of the books, uh, you know, what, what uh, each book, how each book has affected different areas of my life, more than happy to give you guys uh, that sort of information. So pop a question down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm excited to be bringing you more of this sort of content throughout the year.